Hi, I'm Danny Reich, and we're here at my studio, Good Danny's in Austin, Texas. Uh, today we're going to look at some of the new products from Rupert Neve Designs. Their summing amp, which is the 5059 satellite, and their uh, stereo limiter, the master bus processor. We're going to be looking at a track that I recorded here at Good Danny's for a band called Tax the Boy Disaster. Uh, we'll use the same song for a bunch of different examples, so hopefully you can hear some of the tonal options and flavors that we can dial into the mix using both the 5059 satellite and the master bus processor. I'm typically tracking through my console or through outboard mic preamps into Pro Tools or to a two inch machine. Um, but I generally have the satellite um, in line from all of my monitoring for playback. So that allows me to sort of mix as I'm tracking and as I'm working. Um, I've found that this is sort of the best way for me to pull the mix together as we're building the song, which is, is really helpful in knowing you know, when we've got the arrangement where we want it. Um, and it sounds remarkably better than being having everything jammed in the box down two outputs. Uh, there's just a flatness, a congestion uh, that tends to happen with Pro Tools. I'm, it's really great software for editing and for, for working with, but the mixer in Pro Tools is it's certainly plain, it's a little sterile, it's a little bit boring. Um, I've noticed now that I'm working with the 5059 that things like reverbs and uh, depth and width, it all seems to sort of just be expanded, both in the frequency range, the, the lowest octave of the low end, the softness in the top end, and in the depth. Um, the reverbs seem to sort of sit behind uh, the instrument as opposed to being sort of flattened right up, kind of like just all up against the windshield. Um, so it's been really great to be able to work and be able to listen with that as I'm tracking because it's actually helping me get sounds and sort of know when I've got something where I want it. So I'd like to give everyone a sort of real world example of listening to a song, a finished mix that's been summed entirely in Pro Tools Mixer uh, and then compare it to what happens when I break everything out across the 16 channels on the 5059. So my favorite thing about the 5059 is that um, it's really configurable and the, the type of color and the type of tone you get out of it. Uh, there's a lot more to the box than just, well, I stemmed it out to 16 channels and that's how it sounds. So I'd like to show you a little bit how hitting the channels harder and backing off the master can really change the tone from leaving it wide open and leaving the channels cleaner. Uh, another option on the 5059 is the, the silk button, which uh, gives you two options on ways to drive the transformers and get more, even more tone. It's another way to get a, an additional, like, either sheen or, um, or sort of extra low mid-range information out of the, out of the mixer. Uh, in particular, with this band, Taxaboy Disaster, I, I wanted to um, sort of compress and get a little bit more more low mid-range and a little bit more um, uh, tone out of the mix and uh, by hitting everything a little bit harder I think I was able to bring everything forward and sort of compress it and and uh, get the transformers uh, kind of saturated to where it's it's a little thicker and, and uh, sounds sort of more like a master in some ways to me.
I generally mix with uh, some limiting and compression on uh, on my mix, so I can sort of mix with a more informed opinion on um, making balance choices instead of printing a raw mix with no compression, hoping that somehow once the life gets squeezed out of it when we master that it holds up. Um, by putting a little bit of compression and limiting on my mix, I'm able to, to listen to more of a finished product and, and um, make sure that vocals aren't too essy, cymbals aren't too harsh. Um, and it sort of has allowed me to deliver more finished, kind of like final, um, pre-mastered mixes. So we listened to three different ways to use the 5059 to color the mix. Um, beyond that, uh, we're going to move into the master bus processor, which uh, I'm now going to show you the raw mix from the 5059, and then the same mix that's hit the master bus processor for a little bit of limiting compression and some stereo field editing. <laughs> 